Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Montel Jackson versus Damon Blackshear. So this fight was actually just recently announced, just a couple of days ago at this point. Montel Jackson was actually supposed to fight, I believe it was supposed to be Ferry Bacheret, one of the Bacheret brothers. He's 13-2 and with a four-fight win streak. He's 4-1 in his last five fights. The one loss, as we see, is against Brett Johns three years ago. Brett Johns is not even in the UFC anymore. I'm pretty sure he's in Bellator now. Uh, 32 years old, 5'10 with a 75 and a half inch reach. His nickname is Quick. He is so fast, it's crazy. Fighting Demont Blackshear, Demonster, 14 6 and 1, 2 2 and 1 in his last five fights. Had a very close fight with Ferry Bacheret. Lost his last, uh, he won his last two, or he won two after that. And then he lost to Mario Batista, which I believe he took on a week's notice. And I personally thought he beat. Mario Batista, but it was a pretty damn close fight for sure. 29 years old, 5'10", with a 72.2 inch reach, 3.3 inch reach advantage for Montel Jackson. The biggest thing for me in this matchup is the striking ability of Jackson, how fast he is. I think Blackshear can make this fight really, really close if uh, because he's a really good grappler and he can make it a, a nasty, dirty fight. The issue with that at times with him is he, like, Mario Batista has good striking, was able to do a lot of good things with that. You know, he, he when he lost to Ferry Bacheret, really good movement. Montel Jackson has some really, really good movement. Now, if you look at their stats, it, it's something I really, really like doing because it gives you an idea of uh, something that, you know, not necessarily is going to happen, but it definitely could. Okay, I guess they may not have it on here. Okay, they haven't updated it. But again, and DeMont Blackshear, decent fighter, made his uh, made his debut with a draw against Yusuf Zalal. He has 11 finishes. He's 2-2-1 two, two, and one in the UFC. Both of his wins are by finish. He is not finishing uh, Montel Jackson. Sorry to got, let, you know, got, let you know, guys. Beat Jose Johnson and Luan Lacerda. Two not great fighters. Every time he's kind of made that step up, whether... I thought he beat Mario Batista or not. He's, it's still a step up in competition, a step up in rankings, and he's lost those fights. Montel Jackson, you know, like I said, four fight winning streak. He's seven and two in the UFC, as you see here. And he's being, he's lost to Brett Johns, I believe, when he only had one loss, or he, he may have even been undefeated at the time. I think one loss. He lost to Ricky Simone when he was coming up, you know, his first fight in the UFC. Beat Kelleher, Andre. Suck him. Oh boy, that guy. Felipe Corrales lost to Johns. Beat Str Strader. Uh, JP Buys. Julio Arce is a really good fighter. Beat destroyed Ronnie Yaya. Shocker there. Not at all. Expected that 100% of the time. Ronnie Yaya is not good anymore. Eh, never really was. But I like Montel Jackson. I think his striking is the difference in this matchup. I think he does really, really well with. That being said, and as always, subscribe, like, comment, let me know who you guys are picking. I'll see you at the next one. Peace.